Hey, what's up? Let's take a look at Sleep Logger. So basically, this is going to allow users to input their data and display it in timelines and show some t statistics about their sleep. So first thing you need to do is add a profile. So uh, I'll just call this one Mac. You might want to give it a description and then select Mac and then hit the check mark to load the profile. After that, you're going to have a blank timeline up here. That's just the displayed data, if you have any. And then down here, you can compare to typical or DSPS sleep cycle. And uh, this is important because people with messed up sleep don't really understand what normal sleep is. I didn't understand that it was okay to sleep once a cycle until I was like 18. Um, so we got some settings here. So when you're adding... This is really the only important one here, specify sleep duration because you may want to specify a duration instead of a start and stop time when specifying sleep sessions. So I like the start and stop time so I'm going to uncheck that and we can add some sleep sessions. So I can add one from 9, 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. So I'll do that. and you can give some give it some notes and specify whether or not you dreamed if you want to uh, this is important for tracking REM deprivation of course and you can just hit the add button and keep on adding stuff if you wish and once you're done just hit the check mark I'm gonna add one more from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. and I'm gonna hit check okay so there's the two sleep sessions for March 18th if there were any other available timelines I could scroll through them using this date time picker up here it will tell me how many hours I've slept in this selected cycle so I've slept seven it says and that is correct so if you put your mouse over a sleep session it's gonna give you some notes about it so it'll give you the description if available or the notes sorry so let's say it's unpleasant and if you specified whether or not you dreamed it'll show that and you can double click on them to edit the session to change them up and then you can hit actually I'm going to uh, display everything else with an actual profile with data with real data so I'm gonna load up a, a different profile okay I'm gonna load up my profile this is around a two-week log and so I got logs from March 10th, sorry, um, February 22nd to March 10th. Okay, so you can scroll through them just by pressing the arrow keys on the date here. And um, you go to show statistics, and I'll show you statistics about your sleep. You know, just do some basic math. So you get your average time slept per cycle. For me, it's three hours, unfortunately. And percent of time slept at night and day. And that's about it. You can save it as a text file if you wish. You can do this in, an, in another way. You can do it in a fancier way using the print function. You can print out all of your information. So it'll print out your profile description if you specified one, your name, of course, your statistics and then it's going to print out your entire timeline so uh, I can scroll through these I'm actually going to print it to file uh, probably with Windows you're going to have some sort of mechanism that will allow you to print to file so I'm just going to uh, hit check here to print I'm going to use Microsoft XPS document writer to print it to file just hit OK save it as log.xps and it's done. Let's take a look at it. So here it is. Those are my sleep logs. They're a bit abnormal, but it's just how I do it. So there's February 22nd start, and then it goes all the way down to March 10th. And by the way, nighttime for this application is considered 12 a.m. to 8 a.m. For more information on how to like log your sleep or to use the application, you can hit this button here for 
product documentation and just read about this stuff here as well if you add a sleep session that overlaps with another the program will tell you so that you can revise the the session so that you'll get more accurate statistics so if I were to go from 6 to 8 a.m. and it will say down here that I have overlapping sessions so this program requires .NET Framework 4 and is available in the description it's free and open source